welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Camille and this is Hey Steve Books. Today I've decided to look into my classic CBR for 2022. So I'm filming this early September. So we have less than four months, you know, in this year. I started the year and I made a lot of goals, an achievable list of goals. That's kind of my main character trait. Anyway, I also made a list of 22 classic I would like to read in 2022. Um, I cannot continue this way because obviously then it'll be 23, 24. So obviously I'm learning here that I shouldn't do this. <laughs> but I wanted to just have a look back uh, on this classic CBR and see how I'm doing, how I think I'm going to fare the last four months and, you know, have a realistic chat here. But yes, let's look into it. So out of the 22 books, a huge section was all of Virginia Woolf's novels and all of the Bronte sisters novels. So how is that going? I have read four Virginia Woolf up to now. I have read The Voyage Out, Night and Day, Jacob's Room and To the Lighthouse. And I'm currently in the middle of reading Mrs. Dalloway. So technically soon I'll be at five. That means I have four left including Orlando, The Waves, The Years, and Between the Acts. <sighs> Maybe I can manage two more this year, realistically. I don't think I'll be able to finish all of Virginia Woolf in 2022. That was a big ask, and I feel like a lot of them I potentially rushed through, and I think they're books that would be best read along with like a book group, like people you can talk to about. I feel up to now the book I've enjoyed the most was To the Lighthouse and it's because I've heard a lot more discussion uh, about this book and what it means and what it was trying to achieve and so I feel like I got more out of it than the other three which I had never heard about, The Voyage Out of Mine and Day in Jacob's Room and so really confused about what they were trying to say. Sometimes they just go on tangents and have no idea. Uh, it's beautiful but also, I don't know, I, I wasn't really that pulled with them, you know. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, finishing Mrs. Dalloway. Don't know if I'll jump straight to Orlando. That's the only one that I had read in the past. I read it in university. So I may jump to the waves in the years, but we'll see. We'll see. It's been nice to actually read them in order. So yeah. And now the Brontes. <laughs> so I have read The Wuthering Heights, which I did not love. Uh, Agnes Grey, which I actually really liked. And I'm in the middle of reading The Tenet of Wildfell Hall, which everyone's always gushing about. Um, at the moment, I'm maybe a third of the way through, and it's really good. It's giving me Lady Audley's Secret. It's giving me a bit of North and South, like, oh no, Middlemarsh is what I meant. Like in terms of like the village life and like the gossiping around it. And I will have three left, which is Shirley, Villet, and The Professor. Uh, I'm keeping those for... Victober. Um, <laughs> I may only read two of the Brontes in, in Victober um, because I'll see about the prompts and then um, maybe I'll read you know the last one at the end of the year whatever. I'm doing well in terms of going toward finishing the Brontes this year so that's good. Next I have read To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee which I have but I don't have with me. Here it is. <laughs> so I have read this one Really, really enjoyed it. Totally see why it's a classic, like a modern classic. An excellent book. I have read Anne of Avonlea by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Enjoyed it less. I feel like it dragged a bit more. Uh, I may continue the series, but I think it'll be more like nice to revisit the first Anne, you know, along the years, um, because it's quite an enchanting book. But yeah. And finally, I have Great Expectations by, um, I was gonna say Charles Darwin. That's not it, Charles Dickens, that's it. I'm keeping Dickens for Victober. I feel like that was a good one. My first Dickens, technically, I read the one, the Christmas one, I forget, Christmas Carol. I feel it's not really a book, it's more like a short story. So it'll be my first like proper novel. <sighs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> the last four are where I'm also having some issues. So the first one is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. Um, this is a 1700 page book. This is only half. So yes, working on it. My hope, um, but I'm reading this with Rosie Cockshot, is to finish it this year. But I'm reading loads of other stuff. 
so we'll see we'll see where it goes i don't want to be slowing down rosie actually she's way ahead of me right now but yeah but it's really good so i'm enjoying it but it's a long one so it's not going fast then i have uh, i am a cat by natsume sotsuki this is a japanese classic from the early 1900s and that's also also really really long book um i'm slowly going through it i think i should be able to finish it so that's not too much of an issue then there's the stranger by Albert Camus, which i really need to revisit i'd read that before i don't have a copy i really don't want to read a translation so we'll try to find a copy in french if i can i know we'll see we'll see uh, it's mostly hinging on whether i find a french copy or not and i really should have thought about it when i was in canada Actually, I'm going to France soon, so maybe I can look into that. And the last book was Gouta on the Mountain by James Baldwin. And that one I started reading and then as an ebook and the Libby app. And it expired. And then the library was like, we don't have this book anymore. So I, I don't have the e-copy anymore. And there's no book in my library. Actually, I don't think they have any James Baldwin. So yeah, I'm a little bit of a loss here. Um, so that way, that one may be scratched off the list and I may have to revisit for 2023. But yeah, so that's how, that's how it's going. So out of 22, how many have I read? I've read eight. Oh my God. I feel like with the four months to go, I should definitely be more than not even halfway through <laughs> this list. <laughs> but you know, life, life gets in the way <laughs> of reading. <laughs> As it should but yeah i'm still pleased with how you know how it's going and i want to carry on it's been really fun to give myself this challenge uh, but i'll definitely be learning on this year's challenge for next year's i will hopefully be a little bit more realistic not too much because is it a challenge if it's totally realistic so yeah but anyway so these are the classics um i'll look forward to kind of doing an overview at the end of the year come back for that <laughs> uh let me know what good classic you're reading this year and uh, don't forget to share anything and as always thank you for watching and hey see you back bye